You've probably seen all those sci-fi movies with robots doing household chores and self-driving cars everywhere, and you might be wondering if any of that tech is actually real or if we're still decades away. Well, CES 2026 is happening right now in Las Vegas, and I found something surprising as I went through all the announcements. The future everyone's been talking about? It's not coming. It's already here. Shipping this year, and some of it costs less than your smartphone. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts with our free weekly newsletter. Click the link in the description below to subscribe. You will get the key AI news, tools, and learning resources to stay ahead. So in this video, I'm taking you through the most groundbreaking innovations announced at CES 2026, from NVIDIA's AI supercomputing revolution to humanoid robots that are actually going into factories and homes, to everyday devices that got way smarter overnight. By the end of this, you'll know exactly which tech is hype and which tech you'll actually be using in the next 12 months. First up, let's talk about the AI computing breakthrough that's about to make everything we just saw possible. The AI computing revolution. NVIDIA didn't just show up to CES 2026. They dropped a bombshell that's going to reshape everything. Jensen Huang walked on stage in his signature leather jacket and unveiled the Rubin platform. And here's why this matters even if you're not a tech person. Think about how long it takes ChatGPT to respond to you right now. Maybe a second or two, right? Now imagine that same AI responding 10 times faster and costing one-tenth the price to run. That's what Rubin promises. It's a six-chip architecture named after astronomer Vera Rubin, combining cutting-edge GPUs that deliver 50 petaflops of computing power, next-generation CPUs, and networking so fast it eliminates the bottlenecks that have been holding AI back. But here's where it gets interesting. NVIDIA didn't stop at hardware. They also released something called Cosmos, a foundation model trained on massive amounts of simulated physics data. What does that mean in English? It means AI can now learn in virtual worlds before touching the real one. Picture a robot learning to navigate your kitchen by practicing in millions of simulated kitchens first. That's Cosmos. And then there's Alpa Mayo, their new reasoning model for autonomous driving. This isn't just another self-driving car demo. This is the brain that lets cars actually understand what they're seeing and make split-second decisions like a human driver would. The real kicker? NVIDIA made all these AI models open source on Hugging Face. They're essentially trying to become the android of robotics. Every company building robots or autonomous systems can now build on top of NVIDIA's foundation instead of starting from scratch. This is the kind of move that creates entire industries. Oh, and AMD and Intel weren't about to let NVIDIA steal the show completely. AMD's Lisa Su announced the Ryzen AI 400 series, bringing AI accelerators to mainstream PCs, not just high-end workstations. Intel countered with their core ultra processors that have AI acceleration baked right in. What this means for you is that your next laptop, whether it's for gaming or work, is going to handle AI tasks locally without needing the cloud. Faster performance, better privacy, and AI that works even when your Wi-Fi doesn't. The robot invasion has begun. Now let's talk about robots, because this is where CES 2026 went from impressive to absolutely wild. We're not talking about research prototypes anymore. We're talking about production-ready machines that companies are actually buying. Boston Dynamics finally showed up with something they've been perfecting behind closed doors. The new Atlas humanoid robot made its public debut. And trust me, this isn't your typical trade show demo. This thing stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighs in at a manageable size with 56 degrees of freedom, meaning it can move with the kind of fluidity that makes you do a double take. But here's the game changer. Atlas runs on a hot swappable battery that lasts 4 hours. No more tethered robots stuck near power outlets. And it's fully electric now, ditching the hydraulics that made earlier versions sound like industrial machinery. The real magic, though? It's running AI from Google DeepMind's Gemini model, 
which means it can actually reason through tasks instead of just following pre-programmed movements. Hyundai is already deploying these in their automated assembly plants by the end of 2026. This is a car company using humanoid robots to build cars. Let that sink in for a moment. Meanwhile, a Chinese startup called Unitree brought three different humanoids to the show. The G1 is this compact, foldable robot that literally performed martial arts moves on stage. I'm not kidding. This five-foot robot was demonstrating balance and agility that would make an athlete jealous. They also showed the larger Industrial H2 and the smaller R1. What caught my attention wasn't just the robots themselves. It's that Unitree announced they're pivoting to a robot as a service model. They're not selling these as one-time purchases anymore. They want to rent them to you. Think of it like leasing a car, but the car is a humanoid that can work for you. This tells us something important. The technology is mature enough that companies are confident putting it in customers' hands on a subscription basis. But wait until you see what LG is planning for your home. They unveiled CLOID, and this might be the most practical home robot I've seen yet. Picture a tall wheeled torso with two robotic arms and actual five-fingered hands. In their demo, it folded laundry, loaded a dishwasher, and even prepared simple meals using your existing appliances. No special equipment needed. It's designed to work with the kitchen you already have. LG calls this their zero labor home vision, and they're powering it with something they call affectionate intelligence. It's a vision language action AI model that lets the robot understand commands, recognize objects, and figure out what to do next without you micromanaging every step. It's also deeply integrated with LG's ThinQ smart home ecosystem, so it's not just a standalone robot. It's the physical embodiment of your entire smart home. Now, I know what you're thinking. This sounds expensive and far away. Here's the surprise. Companies like SwitchBot are bringing robots to market at prices that might actually make sense. Their Onero H1 is a wheeled home robot with 22 degrees of freedom in its arms. It tidies up living rooms, picks up laundry, clears tables, opens cabinets. All the tedious stuff you don't want to do after a long day. The fascinating part is that Onero H1 runs its AI entirely on device. No cloud connection required. It processes vision, depth, and even touch data locally, which means it can handle cluttered, messy spaces reliably. And SwitchBot announced they're opening pre-orders soon. This is happening fast. But robots aren't just for homes and factories. Lem Surgical demonstrated something called Dynamis, a modular multi-arm surgical robot for spine and orthopedic procedures. This thing has four articulated arms and can mimic the two-handed workflows of human surgeons, but with sub-millimeter accuracy. It uses NVIDIA Isaac for healthcare to stabilize motion and compensate for any tremors. And here's the kicker. It already has FDA clearance and is being used in hospitals right now. This isn't a concept. It's literally saving lives. Then there's Engine AI's T-800, which looks like it walked straight out of a movie. This full-size humanoid is built on a magnesium aluminum frame, stands 5 foot 8, and performed dynamic movement tests that had crowds stopping mid-stride to watch. It's powered by NVIDIA's Jetson Thor chip, delivering up to 2,000 trillion operations per second of AI power, with a 360-degree LiDAR system so it can see everything around it. And the price? $25,000 for production units shipping mid-2026. That's serious money, but it's also way less than most people expected for a working humanoid. There's also the Fourier GR3, aimed at healthcare and elder care. This one's designed to be friendly with a soft shell exterior, 55 degrees of freedom, and tactile sensors all over its body. In demos, it danced and played chess with visitors, showing off coordination that felt almost natural. The innovation here is Fourier's Neuroverse operating system, which lets multiple robots share learned skills in real time. Train one robot to do something, and suddenly the entire fleet knows how to do it too. And here's one more that blew my mind. Roborock, the company that makes robot vacuums, revealed the Saros Rover. 
This vacuum has legs. Actual legs. It can climb stairs and clean each step as it goes. Think about how game-changing that is. Most robot vacuums are stuck on one floor of your house, but Saros Rover uses its legs to tackle multi-story homes. It's still in R&D, but the concept is clear. Robots are getting versatile enough to handle the real world, not just flat, obstacle-free floors. Everyday AI that actually matters beyond the big robots and supercomputers, AI is quietly sneaking into devices you'll actually use. Razer's project Motoko puts 4K cameras and AI right into earbuds, giving you smart glasses functionality without wearing glasses. Real-time translation, object recognition, 36 hours of battery. It's wearable AI that doesn't look like tech. Garmin's taking a more practical route with AI nutrition tracking. Snap a photo of your meal, and their AI instantly estimates calories and macros. No manual logging, no guessing. It's making health tracking actually effortless for once. And even L'Oreal is using infrared light technology in their new hair straightener to style hair at lower temperatures, causing less damage while getting the same results. Smart homes get smarter. Samsung's new bespoke AI refrigerator has Google's Gemini AI running on device. It recognizes what you store, tracks food intake, and suggests recipes based on what's actually in your fridge. Your refrigerator is now planning meals and shopping lists for you. IKEA's making smart home tech affordable with their Varmblix smart lamp at just $99.99, while even Lego announced smart play bricks with sensors that light up and make sounds, bringing IoT to kids' toys. For health tracking, Withings Body Scan 2 measures over 60 health metrics from one device, fat, muscle, bone density, heart rate, and more. And Neurologics's longevity mirror uses AI to estimate blood pressure and stress levels just by analyzing your face. Non-invasive health monitoring is here. The autonomous future is now. The automotive world is transforming fast. Uber unveiled a concept robotaxi with Lucid Motors and Neuro that's fully autonomous with personalized LED displays and custom climate controls. It's already road testing in San Francisco and launching this year. Meanwhile, Amazon's Zuox self-driving taxis are actively carrying passengers around Las Vegas right now, no steering wheels needed. This isn't future tech anymore, it's happening on real streets today. Hyundai's going all in on robotics beyond just cars, using Boston Dynamics robots in factories and offering robotics as a service to partners like DHL and Nestle. Cars and robots are converging faster than anyone expected. So here's the takeaway from CES 2026. The tech we've been promised for years is shipping this year. Humanoid robots in factories and homes, AI computing 10 times faster and cheaper, self-driving taxis on real streets, and everyday devices getting genuinely smart. The future isn't some distant dream anymore. It's here in 2026. Drop a comment below with which innovation you're most excited or skeptical about. And if you want to stay on top of what's coming next in tech, make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.